okay, so redoing this basement ceiling. Um, anyone who knows it dealt with popcorn, they know it sucks. It sucks. It's dirty. It's nasty. It sucks to uh, to take out. Now, honestly, most of the time, I've never thought much of taking popcorn off because if it's an unpainted popcorn ceiling, which is how they start out, um, if you just take like a pump sprayer with some water in it, dampen an area, and then if you take your uh, your putty knife and drywall pan, and you can just scrape it right into the pan, um, stand on a ladder or a painter's platform, and and boom, it'll just come right off clean, right 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 to the sheetrock. Um, that 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 texture mud is water soluble, and it will loosen up and come right off. Now this one here has been painted, okay, so um, not so easy. But let me show you what I've hooked up with my shop vac to make it fairly easy to take off. Okay, so you can see here on the end of the, I got the regular floor piece right here uh, for the shop vac. All right, now and I've got a matching uh, drywall knife right here, which I believe actually is, is an eight inch, but it could be a 10. To be honest, I don't have my tape measure in front of me, but it, it matches the size of the shop vac end. And that's the important part. If you have a different size end for your shop vac, your rigid vac, you need it to match it or be a hair smaller for this to work, okay? Now I tried it both ways. I tried it where the knife, uh, the drywall knife was on the back side, figuring that the texture would just peel off and go right in. But the suction isn't strong enough. It's heavy enough where most of it was actually falling on the ground. So I've got it on the on the funky side, where it's not sitting flat against here. But where when the uh, when the texture comes across, it peels off and then will fall in. Okay. So you can see I've just kind of duct taped the crap out of it. Uh, but it is holding, and I'm gonna show you how well it works. I'll be honest, that was kind of hard to do with one hand while I was holding the camera. I normally have a tripod, but I don't have one with me right now. You can take a look, you can see where I scraped, where the popcorn still is. So it scraped it off pretty clean. Now let's take a look at the floor. Okay, that's not... Let me get the lighting better. It's not too bad, okay? Obviously we're gonna have to vacuum afterwards, but that's really not bad. Alright guys, now that was a good tip there that I shared with you using the... Uh, drywall knife, duct tape to the uh, shop vac hose and stuff like that. A lot of times it doesn't get it all the way. Um, now if you have an unpainted popcorn ceiling, you might just scrape that off nearly clean right to the sheetrock. Uh, but if, if it doesn't come off that way, like this ceiling here, um, then you still gotta take it another step further. All right, I think you guys can see it pretty good here. You can see all these areas through here. Okay, now what it is, is inside that popcorn texture basically have two things. You have a, uh, a thin texture, drywall mud, and a little styrofoam balls. That's, that's really basically all it is. Okay, um, and that drywall mud is water soluble. So with the humidity and stuff, and after many years of being up here, the little bit of adhesives in there a lot of times get weak. So you can see just scraping this off, you can see how much how much came off. Okay, all this this is the the, the sheetrock paper right here. Sorry. So you see, that's all she wrote paper, and there's hundreds of spots throughout here. Okay, so obviously, that's going to be a problem here, especially since I'm going to do a stamped ceiling texture, okay? So we're going to do, use a crow's foot, so we'll put the drywall mud up there, and that drywall mud obviously has moisture in it, and that's going to soften and loosen this up even more. As soon as you use that crow's foot goes up, the brush, as soon as it comes down, it's going to just peel it all off, and you're going to have a mess all over. Your, all over. So we got to get rid of it. we got to get to to the drywall. Uh, the actual sheetrock panels, okay, is what I'm trying to say. So how do we do that? I mentioned it in the first part of the video about using a sprayer and stuff, so let, let's just get right to it. Alright guys, see, this is just a little half gallon pump sprayer you can find in the garden department a lot of times in, in your Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. Uh, so I just got some, some warm water in there, that's it, just warm water. And I already got pumped up, so we just want to spray the ceiling and dampen it, okay? We don't need to hose it down, we, just need to get, we definitely need to damp though. All right, now while that is uh, soaking in, let me uh, point out something real quick. Now some of you are probably like, why did I just do this in the first place with the spray bottle and stuff? Well, actually, again, that's the way I prefer to do it. But since this was painted, we had to scrape first because the paint wouldn't let the water you know, absorb through it. Um, so the scraping was actually a necessary additional step 
because someone at some point has painted this popcorn ceiling. But now, because we had not, we actually cut that popcorn stuff out, there's enough open area that's now it's unpainted that it will allow this to soak in. All right, so now let's just go get uh, our drywall pan and knife. Okay guys, you gotta let it soak in for a minute, but you don't wanna like walk away because it'll actually dry back up and you gotta do it again, okay? So let's, you gotta turn the pan the right way, right? Okay, simple enough. You kind of see that that's really it. That's all there is to it. It's damp. You don't. You want to be careful because you don't want to rip the paper of the sheetrock. Okay, so you don't want to make it too wet, and you don't want to scrape too hard. So it should come off pretty easy. That was a pretty easy stroke there. I wasn't. I wasn't working hard to scrape it. It just came right off. I want to make one more point here, where there are joints there, where the drywall tape was put, like there, there, and then where the nails were filled in. Okay, that joint compound was already there, then when the texture went above it, on top of it, it really stays good. So you don't have to scrape those clean, you have to be, you have to be careful that you don't over scrape that. But you're going to have, uh, this is a clean section here, and you can see there are still spots. Uh, but you know, that's, that's actually normal and, and correct. Okay guys? Okay guys, so to finish this project, as um, far as the removal of the popcorn, it's just gonna take time. It just takes time and patience. Get some good tunes going on um, and, and just go at it. It's not gonna be super fast and you have to accept that. If you try to just push it and make it go fast, that's where you can start tearing the sheetrock and then you're gonna have to cause additional repairs later. Okay, so just pace yourself and get on with it. Uh, this little painter's bench that I'm sitting on, I think is, I don't know, about 40 inches wide or something like that. This is a standard Warner uh, painter's bench. You can get like at Home Depot or Lowe's for around $45. Other than that, guys, um, so you can please hit the subscribe. I think I'll put it up over there. The camera's always mirrored, so I always forget which way I'm pointing. Um, and then check out additional videos. I'll have additional videos for this uh, basement ceiling project. You'll see them over there. Um, again, still pointing in the wrong direction. Other than that, guys, uh, please share this video so that others like you uh, can figure out how to get rid of these old popcorn ceilings the best way possible. Thanks again.